My name is Drew Harding. I'm the product owner for Pillar Project and responsible for driving the product strategy behind uh, our platform. Currently, all Pillar wallets are uh, what are known as externally owned accounts, also known as uh, key-based accounts. Um, this is really a legacy um, approach that was adopted by uh, the, how Bitcoin works. Uh, Bitcoin is a, a key-based uh, approach, blockchain and wallet approach. Um, and it doesn't really take advantage of the full uh, possibilities and benefits of Ethereum, um, being the uh, smart contract piece. So uh, what we're moving to is uh, smart contract based accounts. And what this means is um, externally owned accounts um, are secured by uh, a pr what, what's known as a private key. In most cases, that's also abstracted to a 12 word phrase or a mnemonic phrase, which is a, a representation of the private key. Um, in this scenario, your funds are essentially stored, secured by um, a private key solely. A good analogy for this would be uh, a prepaid debit card. Uh, you load it with funds. Um, as long as you have that card in your possession, it's safe and secure. You lose that card, it's essentially lost um, in, unless you can somehow recover it or find it or whatever it may be. But there's no way to actually call up the provider, uh, the, car, the card manufacturer um, or the bank behind it and say, hey, I've lost my prepaid debit card. I, I'd like to uh, you know, recover my funds. Taking the, the metaphor uh, a step further, um, a smart contract account would be uh, typical to a traditional bank account where you have all your funds stored in your bank account and you could have uh, a number of cards. Um, say you're, it's a business account. You could have uh, different cards for each individual uh, employee, and each of those cards could have independent spending limits. Um, they could have restrictions um, and, and whatnot, but the main benefit is should you lose one of those cards or if your employees lose one of those cards, you actually can call up the bank, uh, say, look, I've, I've lost my card, please freeze it and your funds are still safe and secure uh, held with the account. The difference is there's no custodian here, right? So there's no actual bank account and this is controlled all by code um, that's in the smart contract itself. Um, so your funds stay with the contract, it's accessed by private keys. So now you have the opportunity to issue multiple keys all themselves with different um, spending limits and, um, or, or other uh, benefits, security benefits, functionality that um, can access the funds based on those parameters specific to that key. Um, from a application standpoint, I, I anticipate that we're gonna see a situation where uh, users have tens if not hundreds of keys uh, based on different dApp usage, based on uh, maybe different personas um, or whatnot. And each of those can independently have their own spending limits, their own uh, recovery mechanisms specific to uh, the smart contract. The specific benefits, which I've uh, kind of already touched on, but the specific benefits uh, by having a smart wallet and uh, empowered by a smart contract is um, you can uh, implement spending limits. Um, you can implement a variety of unique recovery options um, from social recovery, depending on, you know, uh, Shamir's secret sharing or, you know, three of five friends you have to contact and then they can collectively help you recover your wallet. Um, you can also set up or associate different devices. Um, this is uh, essentially, you know, each device being its own independent key. So if you lose your, your phone, you might be able to recover from a desktop uh, that's associated with that same smart contract. Or if you have another phone, you could associate, associate both phones and therefore, um, you know, if you lose one, you have the other. Um, another uh, really interesting one is uh, utilizing smart con or uh, utilizing uh, hardware wallets to act also as as keys um, and uh, secondary or tertiary devices that provide access to recovery or to to the smart contract as well. Other benefits are uh, batch transactions, uh, which will help uh, users save costs on. Uh, and also convenience and time in uh, versus having to initiate uh, multiple transactions in certain use cases. Uh, you can batch, you know, five or ten contracts into a, a, a single um, signed message and, and initiate things that way. But yeah, the real benefit r relies around security in that funds and keys are now separate 
and um, it, it, uh, keys are used to access the, the contract and where your funds are stored. They aren't uh, directly associated and in control of the funds themselves. Hope you like this video. Hope you're excited for uh, upcoming smart wallets and some of the, the new features that we'll be unveiling. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and make sure to tune into our social channels to stay up to date with all our recent developments.